so I remember the first time when I drove into Chanbar, I was with a person who basically acted as a translator between me and the owner of the land. And I was really, really blown away when I saw this place. I've never been uh, in such a remote Indian village. Uh, I've never experienced, you know, uh, the way how the people are living, the way how the people are dealing with their daily life. So I was really, really fascinated when we reached there. So when I saw the property, I, it was, you know, love at the first sight. Uh, on my way out, I asked our driver to stop at the school and I went in and I talked to the principal and I was asking him, do you know how many kids this village has? And he said, you know, it's like probably around 250. And this was the definite point for me to go because earlier, uh, Titus Dittmann, uh, a very famous skateboarder in, in Germany, he has told me whenever you build a skate park, you need approximately 250 kids to fill it up. So this was really the number I needed. So, and there was no doubt when we were leaving that this would be the place. Uh, I didn't get really any kind of insights. I was just, you know, sure that this is the place. I can't explain it. It was just, you know, it was just to the point, this is it. And this is the place where we're going to build the skate park. 